Ladies, hello. Here we are on Thursday. Welcome to day three of People Focused Marketing 2.0. Yay, I'm here. I see myself. Great. Okay. Awesome. Welcome to day three, ladies, of People Focused Marketing 2.0. Uh, today, we're talking about a really hot topic. And that hot topic is how to close high ticket clients with ease. That's the power of the branding and the marketing and the positioning and the elevation of people over tech that we've been talking about all week long. Hey, Beth, good to see you, hun. So as you're hopping on, please say, hey, because something seems to be going on with my audio. Can you hear me okay? If so, would you please say yes, or I can hear you in the comments so I make sure that we are good. Okay. All right, well, I wanna begin with a big congratulations, okay? You registered, you showed up, and you're doing the work. Not just listening and learning, but taking action. And that is exactly what's needed to move the needle in your business, okay? Only about 10% of those who register actually show up. Isn't that crazy? And even less implement. And so you've done it. And that makes you what I call the top 1%. That's you, my sister. You who show up each and every day here inside the Faith Fueled Business Facebook group. Okay, as I said in my wrap up from email from day two, I'm hearing from so many of you, and I love this, that you've had significant breakthroughs in the past two days. You've had shifts in mindset, an awareness of things that you realize now that you were doing wrong. Okay, like you're working too hard and you realize you don't have to. Hallelujah for that breakthrough, right? That is huge, ladies. So that is wonderful. And so many of you are having, as I said, these breakthroughs. You've already begun to connect with people in a more intentional way. You've, you've set out the plan and you're doing it, right? And guess what? It's working. You're seeing more activity that's already leading to collaboration opportunities, conversations with prospects, and one person even got a new client in the past two days. Woo, congratulations to you, okay? My approach works. Plain and simple. You've made great strides in just two days. Can you even imagine what would happen in your business if you and I were to work together for an entire year inside Thrive Academy? Okay. And, and again, with my significant near six figure investment in a super high level, super performance coach, everybody I work with inside the Academy reaps the benefit of my investment. It's not only an investment in myself, it's an investment in you, those who choose to invest in me. Okay. So for you doing the work inside this workshop, congratulations for taking action. You've already begun to make important leaps in your business and it's definitely going to result in revenue. So yay you. Bonjour to Marie. I love that. All right. So when you work with me, it goes like this. You show up ready to implement, ready to learn, and ready to take action. And I show up to personally guide you and direct you through a step-by-step, -step, right? From branding to marketing to sales and everything in between so that we can grow your business to consistent five-figure months. It's possible, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Because look, we serve the Lord God Almighty. Nothing's hard for him, right? And with Christ, nothing is impossible, right? Hallelujah, okay? I feel like I have to talk a little louder. If you hear my husband talking in the next room, it's a little distracting, okay? So listen, it's time to take a leap of faith and to go all in on who Christ made you to be. And later I'll be telling you more about the Academy, but for now, I do want to invite you to visit judy-weber.com slash Academy, because there you're going to find more details, because right now I want to train and teach. I don't really want to talk about that a whole, whole lot, but I want to make sure that I personally invite you because I love you and I care about you and I want to help you get from where you are now to where you want to be. So judy-weber.com slash academy. There you'll be able to read and watch client success stories, actual academy members, feedback and testimonials. So be sure to check that out. All right. One thing I do want to put out there before diving into today's awesome training is that the doors to the academy, yes, they're open now. I'm open for enrollment, but it is only for a limited time, actually only through Sunday at midnight. Why? Well, I just talked about that investment I made with my new coach. And she told me, hey, Jude, this is ridiculous. All that you give for how much? Okay, so I will at least be 
four xing one two three four xing the investment to jump in and work with me okay the academy is not a place for hobbyists it's not a place for those that say oh, i'll give it a try see what happens the academy is a place where smart driven women who love the lord come to grow their business strategically to get results no nonsense no playtime although we do have fun right when it's time to work we roll up our sleeves we get it done we grow the business to five figure months asap and i'm revamping some things i'm tweaking to make it even better right so if you're committed to fulfilling your purpose if you're committed to your calling in your life if you're committed to growing your business there will never be a better time to take that exciting and yes probably super scary jump and join us inside thrive academy all right. Hey, Marilyn. So glad you're here, hon. Okay. So we're in day three. And tomorrow, for those of you who completed my short questionnaire, we're going to pull all of this together and more as I reveal my entire people focused marketing strategy, building a thriving six and multi six figure business. How? Elevating people over tech. Okay. We're setting up our business to truly thrive while at the same time establishing a simple, doable, enjoyable business model. And that includes a marketing system that is clear and focused and targeted and laid out in a way that makes it easy to implement without living on social and without working 10 plus hour days. Look, ladies, you know me, I'm all about simplicity and joy. That's how I run my business. And that's how I want you to run your business. That's how I want us to live, right? Anybody else agree with me on that, right? So that we have time freedom to do what we wanna do. So we can have time to just be and be with our loved ones and do some other things that we would love to do, which now you may not have the time to do, right? So anyway, tomorrow, this is going to be a private VIP only closed room where I take you through my people-focused marketing strategy. And it is exclusively for those who take their business seriously and who complete the questionnaire. The link is there in the caption. And Marilyn says, yes, I want that. Yes. Beth says, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And about tomorrow's you know, VIP only training, okay, the replay link will only be given out to those VIPs who complete the questionnaire, right? You don't want to miss this lady. So go ahead, take care of filling that out today. All right, let's go to God, invite him in, and then we dive into today. Lord God, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for how you move. Thank you, Lord, how you teach us to grow whatever level. We never arrive, right, until we meet you, Jesus, face to face. But until then, Lord, thank you for being along with us and for never leaving or forsaking us, Lord God. You are right here with us. You are introducing us to the opportunities and the people that you are, you know, specially placed in our lives, that you purposed to be there. So, Lord God, thank you for bringing all these amazing ladies together with me, whether they're here with me live, whether they're watching on the replay, or whether they're going to be listening to an episode of the She Is Extraordinary podcast. Lord, we see you moving and we thank you in advance for all of it. We give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus, your son, our Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, I wanna quickly review day one, you decided. Ah, the power of decision. All right, I, I gotta digress for just a second. Where you are right now in your business and in your life is the result of the decisions that you've made, right? Whatever you've decided minute by minute, day by day, week by week, et cetera, that's gotten you to here. Hey, Gia, great to see you, sister. And I can't emphasize enough the power that you have and I have, right? In that God's graciously given us free will. We get to decide, okay? We get to decide how we're gonna spend our time minute by minute. We get to decide who we're going to spend that time with and what we're going to do inside those moments, right? That's nobody else's choice. It's ours alone. So I really want you to own that, that power of decision, okay? We get to decide if we're going to take action on our dreams and on our calling or if we're going to throw up our hands and just give up, right? Okay, so that power of deciding makes me, makes me just so excited, okay? So on day one, you decided your 90 day revenue goal. And for some it was 10,000, 
others 30,000, others 3,000, okay? Whatever your goal is, and if you didn't set it, I need you to do that. I need you to go back to day one and go through that exercise, okay? It, it, it will help you get focused and totally set you up for this entire workshop. But whatever your goal is, you decided that's what you will generate in the next 90 days. So kudos to you, congrats. You can achieve it, no doubt about it. OK, and in that exercise, we took that number, that revenue goal, and we reverse engineered what needs to happen for you to hit that revenue goal. Remember that? OK, you took the price of your offer and then we determined the number of clients that you needed to get in the next 90 days. Right. Then we determined the number of conversations or presentations or appointments, whatever that looks like for you, in order to hit your revenue goal. It's powerful. It's powerfully simple. Right. All right, and on day two, we talked about positioning. And I taught you the four parts of positioning so that you know how to position you and your brand as the go-to in the industry and where. Like, like who, who sees you as that go-to in the industry? Not everybody, they don't need to. But your ideal client, your target audience needs to, right? And that, that is so important to always have that ideal client in mind. And I was so excited to read the action so many of you decided to take to optimize your positioning as a result of what you learned today. And Bonnie just popped in the chat. Day two was a good one for me. Yes, yes. You can always learn, right? Bonnie is at Multi Six Figures. She's one of my clients. But we don't just end there. We're constantly growing personally and professionally. So kudos to you, sister. All right. Yesterday, I also threw in 10 emotional triggers for you to think about incorporating into your messaging. And again, you get to decide what makes sense for your brand. OK, today's training, as I said, is all about closing high ticket clients with ease. And I am so excited. So. All right. Let's start here. So many entrepreneurs mistakenly think that this thing called sales is like an event, like a moment right? The sales conversation or a sales presentation. But in fact, here's the truth on that. You are always selling. You're always selling. Every time you show up, you're selling, right? I mean, in a social post, on your website, in your social profiles, in your blog, in your podcast or your podcast appearances, wherever it is that you show up, both online and offline, you are selling. And the overarching point of today's teaching is that when you do a bang up job selling, quote unquote, right, in the front end, how do I do that, Judy? Well, through your powerful brand, your compelling brand messaging, right, through your positioning that we talked about, being seen by your target audience as the authority, the one with a unique approach that makes sense and feels good. To your target audience and they love you because your values align with theirs and you speak in confidence all right you speak um with confidence and you lead you're a thought leader in your space did you ever realize that i mean that's what you are you're an expert you're a thought leader okay and through this branding and this messaging and this positioning it's clear to your target audience that you're not looking around and copying everybody else, right? You're, you're a trailblazer. You're doing things your way. You're setting the pace, right? And leading others in your pathway. And it makes sense. And it works. This is all that, that um, branding and positioning does. Selling, okay? So your marketing is all about value and service. You teach, you educate. No matter what your industry, you are always putting value out there, right? And in doing so, you're making clear to your target audience that you know your stuff, you know what you're talking about, right? And you're doing it in a way that's relatable to them and it feels good. And you're seen in publications, you're receiving awards, you're an expert, and you talk about, remember we talked about this, you talk about your client's successes unapologetically and your target audience is impressed right? You know your value, you know your worth, and you stand strongly in that, okay? As a result, you intentionally connect with the right people. You're not talking to tire kickers or looky-loos, right? You don't have time for that. You have a strategic connection plan, 
and you make daily outreaches with new connections, prospects, collaborative partners, right? Daily, you're having connect calls to get to know people, right? And you're having daily consultations or strategy calls, whatever you call those, with ideal clients and you're converting them into new clients. And that last piece is what today's all about. Okay. So how can you tweak what you're doing now? How can you optimize what happens before you actually get on the phone or meet with a prospective client in order to convert and close new business and even high ticket offers easily? Okay. Well, I need you to know the truth. And that this, this might be like a mind blower, okay? It is simpler and easier than you may think right now, okay? Because if, if you've been trying to sell and you're, and even the word sales brings up this, ah, this feeling in your belly and you kind of get scared, okay? You need to know you're making it too hard, okay? Do you want to know a simpler way? <laughs> okay, do you want to keep this simple? That's what I'm all about, okay? But you know, let's, let's unpack just for a moment why you're struggling to get sales. Okay. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of ladies. So I know that it all starts with your belief system. Okay. You believe the lie up until now. And that lie, that mindset, those beliefs and those negative connotations around sales are holding you back. They're stopping you. They're keeping you stuck. And you have got to let go of the lies. Well, let me ask you, do you think it's easier to sell a $97 thing more than a $9,000 thing? Dude, who thinks that's easier? Ah, oh, I could sell a $97 course all day long, but I can't sell a $9,000 program. Is that what you think? Because it's not easier to sell a $97 product, okay? Because in order to sell that $97 product, you need to have quite a volume of people that, that you're in front of, right? Your audience, and we should always be growing our audience. And I don't just talk about social. I'm talking about on your email and elsewhere. You have got to be seen, but strategically by the right people. So if your revenue goal is to make, you know, $30,000 in the next three months, and you're trying to do it with a $97 product, do the math and figure out how many people you have to not only sell, but connect with. So trust me when I tell you, it is not easier to sell a $97 thing over a $9,000 thing. Okay. It's a mindset shift. How about this? You can have the best thing out there, but if you don't market it correctly, if the messaging doesn't resonate with the people you're trying to sell it to, or even worse, if you're trying to sell to everybody, there is no way you're going to sell that thing. I don't care if it's $97 or $5, okay? And Marie says, wow, epiphany here. Yes, ma'am. So believe me, the hardness, the, the hardness, ooh, it's hard. That thought around selling a product or a service is the same, whether it's priced a lower end or a higher end. And it's actually um, easier to sell at the higher end when you do all the things we've been talking about, you know, in the right way. Okay. It's all about the messaging around it and who you're talking to. And we've talked about this quite a bit during our time this week, right? So let me give you another example. Okay. This might like make it hit home. If you, let's say you're considering investing in a life coach because you really need to get focused and you want to identify your purpose or, or whatever life coaches, whatever their thing is that you're considering. Okay. Whatever their promise is, whatever their big transformation, that's what you really want. Okay. So let's say that you're considering two ladies, two coaches that you like, and they each have a three month program. One is priced at $1,000 for the three months, and the other one is priced to $10,000. Now, I want to see some stuff here in the chat. What immediately comes to mind when you consider that pricing from these two ladies that you have really formed a trust with, you formed a bit of a relationship with, you watch them and you like them. One is $1,000 for three months. Another is $10,000 for three months. Tell me in the chat, what do you think? What, what thoughts come up? when you look at such a disparity, okay? And I know there's a delay. There's quite a difference, right? It's kind of like comparing um, a Hyundai with uh, a Tesla. Maybe they could both get you there, maybe. But what are you thinking? Like, or Kmart 
versus, um, you know, Bloomingdale's or, you know, um, shortcuts or whatever that 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 cut place, the the the, the cheapy hair dress place versus your fanciest salon. Maybe you get the end result, but the quality is incredibly better, right? When you're paying more, right? Sorry, I had something pop up here I had to get rid of. Okay. Okay, so what are we saying in the chat? Um, I wanna know more. Why, why is the high-end coach more? What's the difference? Okay, that's good, Beth, uh, or Bonnie rather. Beth says, what am I getting for the 10K as opposed to the 1K? And Gia says, the higher price may give me exactly what I need. She may have more experience, more quality. And Marie says, one would be a real professional versus an amateur. Yeah, I mean, here's what came up for me. And thank you for that input. This is so good, okay? For me, I would think, why such a disparity? What's the difference? Okay. Yeah. So we're like-minded there. And I might say, wow, 1K sounds good. But then I'd have to ask, why so cheap? Like, what am I going to get for that investment? And then I might say, wow, $10,000 seems like a lot, but oh my goodness, look at those testimonials. Look at those results. That $1,000 coach, wow, I'm looking at her page and I'm not really seeing much in that way, right? So here's a secret that I tell all my clients and a couple of them are watching. So I hope that you have heard this loud and clear through our time together, right? You do not want to be the cheapest ever. You never want to be the cheapest. And you do not want to work with clients who are looking for the cheapest. Like you are all about value, not about price. Okay. So yeah, the difference could be $9,000. Could be it could be twenty thousand dollars difference it's a matter of what you're going to get at the end right so you have to be convinced through the brand through the messaging through the social proof through you know all that you've seen wow maybe that makes sense to go for this because let me ask you how many of you watching have done the five hundred dollar course or maybe the $2,000 program. And you may have learned a thing or two, but you still didn't figure it out yet when it comes to your business, okay? And I'll get to that question in a moment, Beth. That's a good one. If I forget, pop it back in. Beth says, even when you're just starting out, Without a lot of testimonials, yes, there's ways to do that. Okay. So Marilyn says, I agree, you get more value at $10,000 and better results, but, but, but not necessarily. And we're going to get to that. I mean, that, but, but that's the positioning. The positioning is, and I love that, Marilyn, you're going to understand what I mean in just a couple of minutes, but it's about positioning. Because if, if I put myself out there as a $1,000 for a three month coach, and I'm saying that I want to work with, higher level clients who really want results. If I were that higher level client and I'm looking at other people in the industry charging at least $5,000 for that and some up to 20 or $25,000, I'm going to at that point immediately dismiss the $1,000 coach because I'll say she's not serious or she must be a newbie, right? But getting back to what I asked, how many of you, and tell me in the chat, how many of you, have bought that $500 course and thought that would be the magic something that would bring everything together. And it just didn't. Or even a thousand or 2000 or whatever that number is. And you didn't get the results, right? Let me tell you, you're going to work just as hard for that $1,000 client with that three month coaching, coaching package as you would if you were the coach, right? As you would for the $10,000 client. It's going to exhaust you. It's going to exhaust you. And it may already be if you're pricing that low. Yeah, and Beth says, yeah, I've been there. I know Beth, she has invested money. She's invested money before jumping into the academy. And, and um, uh, in the next day or two, I'm gonna be posting her testimonial from what she's gotten as an academy member, right? Because she does the work, but she needed the right coach. And this is what I'm telling you ladies, okay? I'm committed to teaching my clients how to charge more. Heck, you're an expert. You deserve to be paid for your expertise and paid for the value of the transformation, not your time. The value of the transformation, right? I want my clients to charge more so you can work with less number of clients, but really pour into them and help them get amazing results. 
so that you have more time freedom. Okay. Doesn't that sound like a better business model? Doesn't that sound more like the freedom that you were really looking for when you started your business? Right. And when you look at the amazing results your clients get, how you're serving them at that higher level, isn't that what you believe God wants you to do? Like to give your uttermost in service to Him through service to others. Okay. Yeah. And Paula says, I don't want the freebie seekers or bargain shoppers. My husband calls them tire kickers. Heck yeah. I know. Been there, done that years ago. I'm done. Right. Okay. Now, when I say that about, doesn't it feel good that, you know, to serve less people and get, you know, paid more. Some of you might have a thought, well, wait a minute, Judy, I just want to serve and I just want to help everybody, even those that can't afford high ticket. So well, wait a minute, me too. So let's look at that for a moment. Okay. Here's the facts. The more revenue you have coming into your business, the more money you have to donate to the church and other worthy causes, right? And the more money you have coming in, the more time you're going to be able to offer pro bono work or scholarships, you know, maybe your offerings at a reduced investment for certain people, right? So, but here's the bottom line, making more money is actually going to open the door for you to serve those who may be your perfect ideal client, even if they don't have the money. Okay. But, but, but that's, that's, that's one reality. Okay. But here's the ultimate reality in business without revenue coming in, you don't have a business. Okay. Even nonprofits need revenue coming in the door in order to do their work. Okay. So you need to, again, shift your mind. Okay. You need to embrace what I'm teaching you because I've been where you are if you're not, and it, it, it stinks. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. You feel stuck. So my business model, which is you're an expert, Let's curate a brand that highlights that expertise. Let's get a strategic marketing plan in place to position you uniquely in the market as the, not one of many, but the one go-to, right? The authority, the credibility, the visibility, the messaging. And then let's package your services or your products for high ticket, okay? Let's serve big time and give amazing value so that those clients get really incredible results. We work with less clients and gives you more time. Okay. And once this is in place, you're going to be generating five figure months. That's going to be the norm. Right. And that does not have to take years to get in place. So let's do this. How does that sound? Right. Yeah. Paula says the other way is an expensive hobby. That's right. So what I just described, you know, with generating this consistent five figure months, um, do you believe it's possible for you? Do you believe? I know it is. I, I know it is. Not only because I've done it, but because I've helped other people do it, right? I know that that's possible, but there's a big if there, okay? And that is if you have faith. If you have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and his calling on your life and faith in his promise to equip you, right? And faith to surrender, your negative self-talk and instead see yourself as God sees you bold, powerful, courageous. God sees you as that leader that he made and you're worthy and you're loved and you're valuable, right? You got to surrender that negative stuff so that you can finally step fully into the extraordinary woman that he made you to be and live out your full potential in Christ. Okay. If you surrender everything to him, if you have faith in him, and if you exercise that faith daily and you fully embrace who you are in Jesus, you will do even greater things than you thought possible. Why? Because you're living in his will. You're living out your God-given purpose in his power. Hallelujah. I need to see the loves that go nuts on that. Okay. That's the goal, ladies. Okay. So when I asked, do you believe Marie says, yes, Beth says, yes, like never before working with Judy. Thank you for that, Beth. Um, you know, Marie says, amen, amen. And Marilyn says, yes, I believe it's possible. Hallelujah. Lord God, thank you. All right. And the great thing is, as opposed to the worldly junk that says similar things, like you've got all you need inside, or just repeat, I can do it, and other affirmations, right? Just hold on to these crystals, just speak it to the universe and manifest. Every, you can manifest anything. You can manifest your house. You can manifest a baby. I mean, it's crazy, right? It's all bunk. But what we have is absolute truth. 
God's precious promises and his faithfulness to fulfill each and every one of those precious promises. So that as we're told in Ephesians 3.20, which is my life verse, Christ can do immeasurably more than all that we ask or even imagine. Amazingly, according to his power that is at work in us. I mean, it's just, it's crazy good. Hallelujah, right? Uh, Beth has some hearts and some flames. Bonnie says, yes, indeed. I love all the business encouragement I get from you, sister. Almost all the women I meet in your group are on the same page. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. And it all starts with belief, faith, not only in what seems possible, what you're seeing right now, but faith in what I think is the impossible, the seemingly impossible, right? It seems out of reach right now, but it's absolutely attainable, right? For those who have faith, for those who are willing to step out in faith, even if you're scared, and even when you don't know what's around the corner, when you take action, you have faith and you step out and you do that scary thing. And think about it. That's exactly what the heroes of the Bible did. They took big, giant leaps of faith and at times walking into the unknown. And what happened? They were blessed time and time again by God because of the faith that they had and the action that they took as a result of that faith. Okay. Whew. That's good stuff. Hallelujah to the Christ. Okay. So all of that stuff that I just went through and all the stuff that we've been talking about in the last two days. That happens before the actual sales conversation, right? Before that sales presentation. When you approach business strategically, all of that makes the actual sale, that actual conversation, the next natural step. It's a no-brainer. Are you following me? Okay. So your branding, your positioning, your marketing, all carefully and strategically curated. That's what does the heavy sales lifting, okay? All of it done with intention to sell, quote unquote, all along the way, right? But selling's not a bad word, ladies. Selling is um, offering something valuable to them and giving them the opportunity to decide to take advantage of that awesomeness, of your expertise to move them along, whatever that looks like for what you do, okay? You see, there's this, there's this sales theory, and I've been in sales pretty much since I got out of college in one way or another, okay? Certainly, as a lawyer, I'm all about sales. I'm persuading the jury to think the way I want them to think, right? Um, in what I do right now, of course, I'm in sales, and I train in sales, right? And before that, I was in various sales jobs, both in-house and in outside sales. But there's this sales theory that a person has to make small yeses on the way to the big yes, which the big yes is, hey, I want to buy. And so as your target audience sees your brand and it resonates and relates with them, right? And they see that you're the authority and all the rest that we've been talking about, and you're consistently showing up for them, you're delivering value, you're showing them that you know your stuff. Each time she's thinking, yes, she's getting, giving you that small yes. Yes, I like her. Yes, she's impressive. Yes, I'm confident that she knows what she's talking about. Yes, I trust her. Until finally, she says yes to working with you. And she's excited to do it, right? She's like, wow, I'm so blessed to have this opportunity, okay? Again, my approach to business, very strategic. I'm a lawyer. I'm used to like thinking. Think work is so underrated. Very strategic, very streamlined. Nothing left to chance. Not flying by the seat of your pants. Doesn't that sound like the way you want to run your business? right? Tell me, does that sound like how you want to run your business? Okay. Well, I want to mention just a couple of things you need to have in place before you hop on that phone or before you meet with a prospect, right? For that conversation or that presentation. Okay. A couple of things. First, you really need to pre-qualify. You really need to pre-qualify your people before you spend time in that presentation or that consultation. Okay. Marie says, yes, she wants to run her business that way. Absolutely. Good girl. Okay. So I like in what I do, I require that people that want to hop on the phone with me for a strategy call or a consultation, they need to complete an application. Now, why is that? Look, you don't have time to talk with everybody. Certainly not the tire kickers that, you know, um, Gina had, had mentioned here, right? These consultations 
are not 10 or 15 minute get to know each other calls. That's something different. Okay. These are sales calls. And so you must act with intention, right? You got to qualify people so that you can decide there's that word again, so that you can decide whether this is a person that you want to work with. And if you don't, then you don't take the call, right? You get, you need to have some information ahead of time to be able to determine ahead of time that this person is potentially your ideal client. And so there are several important questions you need to ask to qualify them. And those specifics are covered inside the academy. I don't have time to go through all of them now, but I will say this. You need to ask questions about money. You need to, right? Something like at what level are you prepared to invest to get you to the next level, whatever that next level looks like for what you do, right? And you give them some options to choose from. Are you ready to invest at this level or that level or this level, right? Okay, so that idea of pre-qualification and in my way through a application is one thing I wanted to make sure I mentioned before we leave for today. The second thing is, don't just leave it there. Give them some pre-call work, something for them to do. And, and the purpose of this is to help them fall even more in love with you, to solidify that you are the expert in their mind, right? And get them really excited to chat with you. OK, some say this is indoctrination um, and it is kind of you're, you're indoctrinating them into your way of thinking, into your approach. But I, I negative stuff comes up with me with that word. So I am not going to um, use that word. But but you want to get them excited about you. You want them to know you even more. OK, so what is this pre-call work? What could it look like? Well, you could have them watch a video where you're giving them a sneak peek about what's inside your program or your product, whatever it is that you're offering, you know, how it works, set the expectations of what it would be like to work with you. Okay. And get them excited. Okay. Another thing would be maybe have it on a longer sales page where not only this video of the sneak peek would be there, but you'd have testimonials and case studies and screenshots of comments and review client success stories, all of that, because that would get them even more excited and primed to say, oh gosh, I hope I'm a good fit, right? So again, we're doing things intentionally because we want them to feel like, um, gosh, I get to talk with her. Like, like it's a, like, um, not to elevate you over them, but kind of sort of when it comes to what you do, you, we are not better than our clients. Okay. Hear me on this, but we do need to stand out as the leader, a leader in the area that they're looking to us to lead them. And we need to be confident in that. And so this pre-call work, as I call it, is one great way to do that. Okay. So whew, that was, wasn't that a great, ah, uh, I went longer. I tend to go longer, but I hope that you got some great information there. So look, I do want to go in just a little bit deeper about Thrive Academy. Okay. Cause doors are now open. They're not open always. Right. Uh, they're only open until Sunday at midnight. So check out, um, you know, the comments inside the judy-weber.com slash academy page for client testimonials and videos and all that, okay? But I do want you, if, if you're serious, I do want to personally invite you to jump into the academy, okay, and work with me. This would be, oh, and Gia says, this is so good, Judy. Thank you. You're so welcome. And I'm sorry, I think I said Gina instead of Gia. I apologize for that. But listen, my academy has been the industry's best kept secret, but no more, okay? The academy is the first and only results-driven program for high-achieving, smart, savvy, you know, ambitious Christian women who are ready to generate consistent five-figure months, okay? It's not just another course or program. It's a community of like-minded women of faith who are committed to reaching their full potential by embracing who they are in Christ. So just briefly, what's inside? Step-by-step -step coaching, an on-demand learning center, a very engaged private Facebook group, next level accountability, both through peers and also with me, right? Tools and resources and templates and swipe files, all that to get essential things in place, including systems in place, right? And access to top industry experts. I know a lot but I'm not the expert in copywriting and publicity and sales. And so I bring in those type of experts that you have access to on a monthly basis, right? And what else is inside? Faith-based mindset support, okay? 
how much mindset stuff do you see out there talking about energy and vibes? And that just doesn't, that just doesn't work with me. Okay. So this is Jesus Christ based. And you can ask some of the ladies, Beth and, and Bonnie, who are clients of mine inside the Academy. You can ask them like we are, we, we end in prayer. We claim the name of Christ throughout what we're doing. It's in the modules, right? In the on-demand stuff. It's, it's in everything I do. So if you're looking to, you know, not do as the world does and kind of segregate your business from your faith, the Academy is a beautiful place to be. Okay. Besides that, you get weekly mastermind and group coaching sessions with all members and with me personally. Okay. And this is the important other differentiator that I want to make sure I talk about. All Academy members get direct access to me, to me personally. Okay. Unlike so many others out there at my level, they, they pawn you off to other coaches and, and you don't even know like what their experience is. You don't know what they've done. They're not the person that you signed up with. It's like a bait and switch. So for me inside the Academy, I work directly with every member. I know what's going on in your business and I give direct input personally. Okay. So what else? 24 seven access to me through the private Facebook group and ongoing support via messenger. And I want to tell you about just a, a, an example of what happened with a client yesterday. She reached out, we're working on her brand. And she sent me what she's thinking regarding her ideal client. And I responded within an hour and I was able to give her direct, specific feedback. We went back and forth a little bit. I gave her time because she needed this. I did not want her to be stuck and I didn't want to go down a wrong path. So I was able to help her and get her back on the right track. And she's moving forward quickly. Why? Because I make myself available. Okay. At that level. Okay. And that's why, that is why my coach said, Judy, what, what is the investment for this? Are you insane? Okay. Let me tell you, you don't see that anymore where the actual influencer, the actual expert herself is available. If at all, it's maybe once monthly and it's on a call when literally dozens, if not hundreds of people are on the call. So you never get to actually speak directly with the person that you were following and who you really liked and who you signed up with, right? You feel lost. You feel not heard and you remain stuck. How do I know this happened to me? Okay. Over and over again. And in the past, I don't know, six years before this latest investment, I've spent well over a hundred thousand dollars in coaches and more than not, I was disappointed. And one of the first things I did was I paid $9,000 for an eight week program. Yeah. Eight weeks. That's it. No access to the head guy, none. That was kind of a bait and switch from our sales call. And when I submitted things for review, you know what I got? I got a rubber stamped, boop, at a girl. Looks great. Keep going. Zero feedback. Are you kidding me? For 9K in eight weeks. And inside this program, there was so much technical stuff to learn. Facebook ads, funnels. I was clueless. I'm not a techie person. And I got no real support, although they touted that I would in their marketing beforehand. I basically got zero return on my 9K investment. And I asked for, I begged for a two-week extension and they wanted to push me instead of granting me that in light of the fact that, hello, you're not really doing anything for me here. Um, they wanted to push me to another program. Oh, well, it looks like you need to work with us on a longer term. So that will be 20K for a year. 20K, are you kidding me? Uh, no way with this subpar experience on the 9K. My trust in them was broken. And there was no way I was going to give them another opportunity to make it up. They had that opportunity to give me another two weeks, right? And Marie says, yeah, plenty of that online, right? That's why you've got to be careful. That's why you've got to be discerning, okay? I said bye-bye to them. Toodles, okay? So all, all this at the academy leads to this. And tell me if this doesn't seem like exactly what you need. Clarity and focus. You're going to do the right things in the right order without distraction. You're going to create irresistible offers. We're going to curate a compelling brand for you and, and position you uniquely in the market so that your ideal client is chomping at the bit. They seek you out. It's not you chasing them. Okay. You're going to have confidence. Okay. Confidence as a CEO to make good decisions, right? And confidence in sales. You're going to learn how to confidently convert leads to clients while increasing your rates, increasing your price. 
Okay, you're gonna have the confidence to do that, right? You're developing a strategic marketing plan so you can stay in touch with the right people and never let another opportunity slip through your fingers, okay? Bottom line, the Academy is the only comprehensive business building program you're gonna to need to get you to six figures in your business and beyond, okay? My goal is to create excitement and demand for whatever it is you have to offer. We're going to build your influence online so that you can easily attract the right people into your ecosystem and ultimately into your programs, right? We're going to build the processes and the systems. And, and when you get there, maybe talk about the team members that you might need to scale, okay? So I really want you to read the success stories online, judy-weber.com slash academy. And if you have questions, let me know. Uh, DM me you know, academy or say, hey, Jude, let's chat. Okay. Remember the doors close Sunday at midnight and the rates are going to 4X after that. I can't wait to work with those of you who are ready inside the academy. All right. One more order of business for today is I need to award today's prize. Okay. So I didn't tell you what today's prize is. I'm actually wearing it. So let me see if I can show you. It is the Thrive necklace and it's a beauty. It is a beauty. Okay. And I am so excited to say that the winner of this beautiful Thrive necklace is Marilyn Archer. Marilyn, congratulations. Now, and with the delay, I finally see, I don't know that I, I don't know that you can see this. Let's see if I can do better. Okay. Maybe that's better. Maybe you can see it, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So Marilyn, please message me your home address and I will get this to you. Okay. All right. So ladies, what do you think? We have been through a lot in three days. Uh, oh, Kim, you're so sweet. She says, congrats, Marilyn. All right. Oh, and Marie has cute little cheerleader emojis. That is so cute. All right. So listen, it's great to learn, but here's the thing. What action are you going to take? So your homework today, and I popped it into the chat here. Let me see what it is so that I can speak intelligently here. Okay, great, great, great. So your homework today is I want you to think about your sales conversation or your presentation, okay? What can you add to that? The pre-work, the pre-sales conversation, the pre-presentation, okay? To make the prospect even more excited to talk to you. And more importantly, more excited to work with you. Marilyn, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here and showing up. Okay. So listen, ladies, I cannot wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow at noon, I'm pulling it all together. People-focused marketing. You're going you're gonna to learn even more as we bring it together. I'm going to take you through my pathway. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an incredible time. So one thing that I haven't mentioned in three days, and I am remiss to do this, that is, who do you know that needs to be here? What other powerhouse Christian women who either are thinking of starting a business or who already have a business, whether they're doing kind of, oh, they're struggling a bit, or if they're doing great. I mean, I think you'll admit like, 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 you know, Bonnie and Kim, they're at a high level of success in their business and still they're here. Ooh, maybe there's a reason why, because they realize you've got to always learn. There's always something more to learn. So please, when you think about Oh, thank you, Kim. She says, this has been great working through my pre-work for the retail buyers that I'm going to reach out to. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, Kim has big plans to go after some of the major retailers with her jewelry line. And Kim's going to be featured on my She is Extraordinary podcast uh, very soon. So I'm very excited to share that with you. Hey, Paula, good to see you here, hon. So, so listen, I'll end with this. Who do you need or who, who, who do you think needs to hear this faith focused, faith-fueled business strategy. Would you do me a favor and do them a favor and invite them to join us here in the group? And it's not too late, okay? I am putting each of these sessions on my podcast, okay? I think it's episodes 149, 50, and 51. I'm not sure about that, but check it out. You'll see. Um, but invite them here in the group because as we're coming and revamping this group after my hack, where we were, this group was literally dead for six months and we're only now reviving it. Um, the more quality ladies we get in here, the more we can network, the more we can collaborate, the more we can all learn and grow together in this faith-based environment, this community of sisters, which is just such a powerful thing. 
And Marie has already tagged some. That's great. But I need you to, I don't know that they see that. I think you need to formally invite them. So if you don't know how to do that, um, private message me and I'll do that. It, it, when you're on your laptop, when you're on um, your computer, I know in the upper right, there's like an invite and you can invite all of your friends to join us here. Or you can just, you know, copy and paste the link to the group, which is facebook.com slash group slash faith fueled biz B I Z and say, Hey, this is a great group. You should join lots of ways to do that. But I appreciate you doing that for me tomorrow. I'm going to be giving out another prize, but you've got to be there live. And of course the ticket in is to complete the questionnaire. So please do that. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you ladies. Hope to see you tomorrow.